Getting a good night's sleep can be tough, but if you're a parent of a tireless toddler, it can be next to impossible. Check out our next story. My son is just over two and a half years old. He keeps me up several nights a week. He cries and cries until I pick him up and bring him into my bed. Goldie is almost 11 months old and she has never slept through the night. She wakes up anywhere from one to three times a night, anytime from 12.30 to four in the morning. I need to keep him in his own bed so that everybody can have a restful night. Mickey Mouse bed. I need to eat Dewey. It's not the night. Goldie is awake again. I'm so tired. I don't know what to do. Goldie, please go to sleep. Most days I feel like a zombie. I don't know what to do. Poor girl needs some sleep. So does her mama. Join us now are the two moms you just saw who also happen to work here on our show. Welcome Kate and Josie to the show. And I know we're laughing, but this is no laughing matter. And as, as tired as you two may be, you look fabulous. But Josie, I won't ask you, how much does your, your son depend on you for sleep? He depends on me greatly. He grabs a hold of my bracelet when we lay down at night, and that's it. Doesn't let go until he falls asleep. I have to lay right next to him. And Kate, how much sleep are you able to get? Not much. It's not much. No, she's never, ever slept through the night. She wakes up, yells, you saw it, until, <laughs> I, saw until it. I come I in it. and feed her. Um, and then she wakes up super early in the morning, too. So there's just no consistency. And I'm worried about that you know, toddler bed transition, because I've heard nightmares. Mm -hmm. And that is why we have our friend in his white coat, Dr. Raj Dasgupta, sleep Hi. specialist extraordinaire <laughs> here. Really quickly. Yes. Congrats. <gasps> You know? I, I heard you're expecting soon. That is true. My not, wife and not I. Not you, but your, your wife. We're going to have our baby coming. There you go. So you're, you know, you're going to give some advice here because, you know, <laughs> you're going to experience it as well. But yes. what are your thoughts when, when you listen to Josie and Kate and well, all the issues they're dealing with with sleep? Well, I don't think it's a surprise if I start off by saying, you know, sleep is essential for good health. It just is, you know? And if our kids can get good sleep, their mood their behavior, their performance is all going to get better. I'm sure everyone agrees with that, right? But everyone always asks me, what can I do to get that good sleep? And my phrase is always going to be, when it comes to kids and sleep, one size does not fit all. Because it's individualized. And what works for one mom and one kid won't work for another.